in the next 10 years, what we really want to see is we want to see impact at scale. And so when I think about impact, I think impact at the community level, and I also think about it at the global level and how we have these interconnected communities, sometimes that will often move in a hub and spoke way, right? So for example, Campbell River, British Columbia is, is a hub for the central island, but it's also a spoke that then spokes into say Vancouver, which then might spoke into say Silicon Valley or, or New York City or somewhere else. And so, so for me, I think what we want to see is we want to see a vibrant community of impact entrepreneurs and impact investors who are interconnected both locally and globally to, to be able to, to achieve what they need to achieve, either in scaling an impact venture or investing for impact. I think that's, that's really important. I think we want to see true equitable access. I think 10 years from now, we want to see this notion of like 50-50 split across the board whether you and it doesn't matter how you're cutting it because you know we have to create equitable access um, and that equitable access should reflect the population it should reflect the community that we live in and, and that that we interact with and i think that that's a really really big part of it and then the final piece of impact to scale is 10 years from now we will see many impact ventures that have gone public that are global leaders in their sector period whether impact or not, but they are impact, right? And they're actively and intentionally making the world a better place every day. And so I think that is going to be a huge shift in, in, in not only the impact world, but it's going to be a huge shift in the economy and it's going to be a huge shift in the communities. Ultimately, it's about growth, but growth, uh, not just for growth's sake, not just in pure like volume terms, but also in the depth in, in the ways in which we've been able to genuinely support companies to build sustainable foundations to grow and as a result to grow their impact. So I'm looking forward to hearing all of the stories from the founders that we're, we're reaching right now and hearing how they have changed the world through their innovation. We also are in a very creative industry even though um, like finance or finance and adjacent um, sectors are not typically considered creative but we get to fund the future. <laughs> so like the future is like, we are already kind of like in it in terms of the companies that we support, the founders that we support, the products that we support. Um, but I, I do think there's gonna be more of, uh, you know, an overlap or more of a merging between um, this bucket of like DE&I and, and impact. And I think we're gonna be, you know, a big part of the conversation around, you know, how do, what's the language around this that we, that we all need to reestablish and, and, and ensure that we can all, you know, um, just meet the right goals and understand kind of what we're working towards.